I'm holding this, my illustration I'm working from at arm's length and when I pull it to the side you'll see the painting I'm working on. Huh. Check it out. And then there's the rows, oh, this top rows is virtually done. And I'm in the middle of working on the 
second rows. That's kind of tough. And uh, there's the arm. Cool, huh? So this is where I am. Uh, I think I'm probably going to have to lay in an umber over top of this blue-black glaze because you can see the illustration has a bit of raw umber, more umber in there than I have. It's a little too, what I've got's a little too inky. I've still got the blue back in there, but I've got to get, tone that down with probably an umber wash, raw umber. And, uh, not bad. Cool, huh? Okay. So, I eventually did the uh, glaze of um, Alice Arun Crimson and Bert Umber mix over top of the blue-black area. That added a depth of a reddish brownness to the overall density of that black area. And um, that was made with a, a, a bit of um, alkyd glaze mixed with the umber the burnt umber and the alizarin and thinner to get it to the consistency where it would uh, go on thin and but still be seen. The alkyd primer was added to uh, make it dry for it faster. I could also have used a Japan dryer, but alkyd primer has the, or alkyd glaze has the same uh, content. Um, after that, and I, I missed filming that part of it. After that, I went back, and that dried, I went back and made a glaze of a polyurethane uh, varnish along with a, a honey colored toward burnt umber uh, glaze using uh, an alkyd glaze and some oils and the urethane varnish to mix it into it. So it look, actually looked like honey and it went on like honey and what that does it will give a sort of a, a golden aged effect to the whole thing and it's consistent. <coughs> so it has a, an antique quality to it. Not severely antique but uh, that it ties the entire image together with one constant aura of the same uh, value, I want to say. But that's not quite right. Anyway. So this is the final painting. And yeah, I'm getting glare. Anyway, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a certain golden quality to everything now. Of course, I'm shooting under fluorescent light. Maybe the closer in I go, you may get able to see the what I'm talking about. Maybe not. So, number number one is done.